everyone i welcome you all to another learning video so i hope you all are doing well so today we are going to discuss a very important topic and uh, i'm not going to discuss any strategies or uh, any like anything very important but today's video is what more than important i would say right because uh, today we are going to talk on some few logics behind market and uh, the psychology of traders how trading works we are going to talk on this right so uh, mainly we are going to focus on last two days trading session including uh, today and yesterday's uh, actually uh, i had posted on my telegram channel that uh, uh, market would fall before the expiry right i had posted this uh, update two days back that market may show some correction and uh, market had corrected uh, well and uh, so this is a recent updates on market uh, why market fell approx uh, from 10550 to 10000 uh, almost 10200 right so this is uh, almost uh, 350 points market has corrected so why did this happen and how did i know knew already that uh, market were about to fall from this level and in fact even today morning i had posted on my telegram channel that i am going to cover or i am going to book all my shots that had that i had created yesterday uh, at the top and i'm going to book that and the small traders be cautious because market can be volatile today and as you see markets were volatile today and uh, markets yeah. didn't yeah. fall from the opening price it did cover up in a good level and even i say that markets may recover today in second half but it did recover in the morning also and then it fell again and it did recover in afternoon sessions also right so now this is nifty chart so let me show you some few levels and in fact today uh, today's opening let me just talk about that first this this was where uh, today's opening was happened around this candle and here market took resistance actually i was expecting today's opening at this level which is 10150 but market uh, so in index didn't open at that level so i i had booked my uh, shorts and even i was carrying some uh, pe uh, i had bought some pe options nifty and even i had uh, sorry bank nifty i had bought and uh, we all booked that early morning right around 80 percent uh, return we made in that so let's see uh, why did i say that markets were about to fall before expiry again before expiry i didn't say market will fall i said markets will tend to fall before expiry so let me just take you all to the daily candle right so this is uh, let me just clear all the drawings over here now if you see uh, let me just okay right so this is the naked chart of nifty so approx at this candle this small candle i had updated on telegram that market may fall before expiry now why did i say said that uh, statement right if you see in nifty there are few things that nifty is following a down level if you see there is a trend line which is followed by nifty so it is highly possible that uh, this trend line may be broken in few days or sorry in few sessions or in few days in coming months in july month this is expected to break but let's see uh, let's come back to our topic as of now right so this is the lower trend line that i saw and then if you see at upper levels at this area there is again a trend line at upper level right so of course uh, this this candle was not made because i had updated at this level right i had updated that market may go up and then it will fall 
I had updated that at this level or before expiry market is tending to fall now so there are few logics behind it uh, one if you see uh, logic number one this is a trend line that nifty is following so of course nifty will try to uh, uh, respect this uh, trend line right uh, so of always a market or any stock anything it tries to respect a pro their levels so of course it is going to respect this level so a fall can come from that level logic number one and logic number two there is there was a monthly expiry see monthly expiries are very important expiries if you notice if uh, markets are falling few people or a lot of big people big short traders uh, in a bearish market they, they try to short index at upper levels and then during uh, end of the expiry they try to book their uh, profits right so if they are covering their uh, shorts then they are of course going long and market may reverse or that is called the short covering or the long covering right so logic number two we saw a huge fall from here right and then at this area lot of people would have bought uh, index or bought uh, futures or anything they could do right at this area this was a very important support of course you can see the trend line is following trend line support so people would have bought at this area that's why we saw a huge rally at this area and the market didn't fall much it continued it stayed here for two three days and then it continued it rally till 10,550 right so this is approx 9,550 and this high is 10,950 so it is almost almost 1,000 points in nifty so the people those who had bought those who have went long on nifty they were waiting for some level to exit their positions right of course if we take entry we wait for our exit price also so there must be a exit so this was this level if you see this level was a very good level to take exit so uh, reason number one logic number one it was a exit level right uh, the people who had bought a downside they had to exit and they had to exit because it is expiry it is it is a uh, monthly expiry and they had to expire uh, so they were waiting for some good levels that where they can uh, book their profit and they saw that good level at this area and then they booked their profit right so this was logic number one and why i said that markets uh, may fall from upper levels right so let me just explain you now the, the second thing now we saw why market uh, corrected uh, or market fell before expiry now we will see about today's market right let me just take you to five minutes chart we will talk about today's market why market fell today uh, sorry why market didn't fell today as a lot of people would have expecting market to fall, fall today but market didn't fail and market took a reversal and why did that happen this is again the logic repeats again see for example i had shorted over here yesterday now market is opening here my expectation i am giving my example my expectation was this level but market exp uh, opened over here my to my premium members i said market is not opening as per my expectation so i am booking my profits early so we booked our profits here only so for example if we have shorts from here or from this area so we had to book at this area because today is expiry today everything is gonna expire so we cannot wait till end of the day right so people are going to book their shorts which they created over here yesterday a lot of people would have created that shorts over here here or at this level or at least at the end of the day they would have created some shorts right so they had to book their profits so for example if i am shorting market 
I have sold over here. So let's say I'm, I have sold over this area. Now I am booking my profit over here. So here I am a seller, right? I have sold, but when I book my profits over here, I am a buyer, right? So when a buyer comes in, markets are tend to move up. So this is what happened today. So what did I do today? I didn't buy much uh, options. Uh, let me just clear this drawings. Okay. I didn't buy uh, much options today. What did I do today? I, I will uh, explain that also because it might help some people to take entry at uh, next uh, next time or next expiry. Next time when they will trade, it will help, right? So let me tell you, I am a safe player. I am not an aggressive player. I don't sell ATMs or uh, ITMs uh, so early but i do sell that also but mostly i prefer selling far otms right because uh, and today markets are also very volatile so what did i do today i sold 10050 guys let me approx just a second okay approx at this level this strike price i sold markets were here but i sold this so now you know how safest do i play right so i sold far otm over here for premium five i collected five rupees premium and then i waited and then i sold ten thousand four hundred if you see i sold this strike price because i was expecting some expiry below ten thousand four hundred to uh, 10,250 uh, I guess I was expired expected so I had also posted this on telegram channel also that my expiry range uh, so I sold 10,400 and then when market started to fall when market started to fall I had posted this on my telegram channel again I updated this that nifty is planning to fall at this level I updated on telegram channel that nifty is planning to fall and then here I sold this 10,350 call option 10,350 I sold here because I knew markets are going to fall from here right so I sold I received a good premium of around 24 rupees I sold it over here and then I received a good premium and then, uh, of course I didn't book it over here I booked it at here at this level somewhere then its price was around 4 rupees I booked it over here because uh, at the end I had to book it right so I and until now I have booked three positions uh, sorry uh, shorted three push call options sorry three options and now I had also when markets were at this level I shorted 10,200 because this was a support and again I had posted this on my telegram that nifty is at support and from here nifty blasted upside right and I sold here I sold this uh, put option so this is how trading has trading is been done so this is how I traded today right so I hope this video was useful and uh, most importantly uh, that whatever positions I take or, or I took I had been updating on telegram also at this level I said nifty is planning to fall and I took a position and here I said nifty is planning to move up or it took a support and till here I shorted a uh, put option so the, this is how I trade this is how I keep posting on my telegram channel also so I hope this video has been useful to you all so we saw two important things why market fell yesterday and before expiry and why markets or index didn't fell today and my trading strategy how did i trade today these two things i shared in this video i hope this video would have been useful to you all so just in case if this video has been useful so please hit the like button because it will definitely motivate me to make more and more videos learning videos related to stock market right so i hope to see you all with some another learning video in weekend so that's it for the day thank you have a nice day